and creating a relationship. Because for most people, saying goodbye is something that they'd rather avoid. I heard that a big percentage of the people that don't finish their dissertations for their PhD, it's because they don't want to end their school career. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there'll be people that have outstanding checks to me. I mean, even the smallest amount, they just don't want to end that relationship. They just want to keep the line open. And the line's open. And if we were able to talk about it, and they didn't take off right then, we'd be able to see the doors open. But for a lot of people, it's really hard. And my going on a four-day vacation will be the perfect reason for them to leave. So psychotherapy, it's years, years and years and years? Not necessarily. I mean, some people come in with a specific goal in mind. Um, I know a lot of people that do chapters. It's, um, I'll see them for a year or two, and then I'll get a call six years later and say, Hi, it's me. Do you remember who I am? I am dealing with this now, and I'd like to come back. I think that people who do depth work, and I would consider the work I do, much less cognitive behavioral and much more depth oriented, at least a year would be the amount of time it takes to to develop that trust and the ability to go into those darker places. So let, let's talk about confidentiality. I had a friend who did not want to go into therapy because she thought her work would find or would go on some sort of a record. Is how confidential is therapy? Does it prevent you from getting insurance or? Well, there is this um, employment. Um, issue that comes up quite often that if you get insurance through your employment and you go to your employer to find a psychotherapist then what is the employer going to know? Are they going to know other than you're in psychotherapy? They're going to know that you are going to psychotherapy? They're going to they know could. that? They could. They could. Um, people need to look at their waivers there's new laws that have been put in place. They're called HIPAA laws. And it's you sign them when you go into every doctor's office. And the HIPAA laws assure you that your information will not be shared. However, if you're billing your insurance, then your insurance will see codes that you were treated for. It's supposed to stay within the insurance office. It's supposed to. In regard to getting other insurance, mm -hmm. if you have a pre-existing condition, some insurance carriers will not allow you in. So certain thoughts need to be considered ahead of time. Is this something that, what diagnosis are we going to use? Is it going to be a diagnosis that's very benign? And does a, a therapist feel comfortable writing a benign diagnosis when it's something more severe so that this person doesn't get labeled. Oh, you have to write something down. I do. In order for the insurance to pay, there has to be a diagnosis. And it puts us in a very big, very hard dilemma. Because if we're supposed to be as truthful as possible to the insurance company, it may not be in the patient's best interest. And there lies a ethical question. And I think it's in the best interest of the therapist and patient to have that discussion. Insurance companies such as life insurance providers, some will not allow you to get life insurance if you have a history of mental illness. And they may consider mental illness something by what code a therapist writes down. Anything from um, a depressive episode to bipolar disorder. But there's lots and lots and lots of things in between. There are some concerns and there are gray areas. And um, unfortunately, it puts us therapists in a very uncomfortable position. And the last question I had, let's talk about success. So therapy probably helps people reach their goals and become more successful, but what, what are other measurements of success? Happiness. Contentment, balance, 
better impulse control, clarity in what they want in relationships. For some people, it's a, a spiritual connection that they hadn't had before, an ability to love more fully, to experience a wider range of emotions, to feel that they're living a more purposeful and fulfilling life. So let's give out your website. What's your web address? It's DonnaBurston.com. That's D-O-N-N-A, B like boy, U-R-S, T like Tom, Y, N like Nancy, DonnaBurston.com. And what are your specialty areas? 